Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for this video we have the Adrenaline review video as usual for the Adrenaline 25.2.1 and as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year, 2025, 2 is the month, February and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of February. Now, take in consideration that, like the previous drivers, the 25.1.1, these drivers are optional and I believe that I can tell you this um, but I believe also that the reason why these drivers are optional instead of WHQL certified, basically Windows certified and so on, they are not beta drivers, but they're kind of, yeah, like MD says, they're optional. You don't really need them, but you can use them. One thing that I don't like though about them being optional is that they are not presented on the Adrenaline software for you to update. Uh, you actually need to go to the internet or search for the AMD 25.2.1 and they'll be there for you to download. But besides that, they are not presented on the Adrenaline software. But again, I believe that I can tell you that the reason why they are making these drivers optional, basically it, these drivers are kind of a crutch for the next ones possibly the 25.3.1 that will bring some really really interesting features so stay tuned if you want to see them um, they will br they will come with RDNA 4 as well so basically the 25.3.1 drivers with RDNA 4 and we'll have some really interesting features like some that were leaked AI in the software and some other things that weren't leaked of course but they will be very interesting so stay tuned don't worry because AMD is going for optional now but the next drivers will bring very very good things like today's sponsor really good Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So now let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we start with highlights with new game support for Sid Meier Civilization 7, Avowed, Monster Hunter Wilds and Like a Dragon Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii. <laughs> that's a really big name. That's, that's a plot twist right there. What you can notice right here is that in the highlights for the 25.1.1 and 25.2.1, these ones, we don't have any kind of support for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 and Actually, they need to support it because the game needs more FPS. The game is very well optimized, by the way. Still, and again, still, um, for the AMD GPUs, it doesn't run that well and might need some driver updates. Still, we have no support for this, but I, I am testing this in the end of the video. You'll see the, the benchmarks with three cards with Kingdom Come Deliverance, by the way. But yeah. As for the fixed issues and improvements, we have partial black screen may appear in main menu while playing Marvel Spider-Man 2 with Raiden Anti-Lag 2 and ray tracing enabled on AMD Ryzen 7000 and above series processors. One of the things that was fixed, a very specific problem in Spider-Man 2 again with the Ryzen 7000 series and Anti-Lag 2 and of course ray tracing. And the second and final fixed issue is unable to set low black values when using my X ray dose view lq or view iq and that's about it so we have basically new game supported which should mean higher fps not 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 for every card and not in any case scenario or every case scenario and two fixed issues and that's one of the reasons why i'm telling you again that these drivers are kind of a crutch for the next ones the next ones will be the big ones that will bring a lot of things but we'll see in a month or so as for the known issues, we have kind of the same, I believe, with the first one being intermittent system or application crash may be observed while playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for long periods of time. And again, this is one of those things that shouldn't really happen, but does happen, and I believe that it will be fixed in the next driver version. Can't confirm, that, but I believe it will. The second one is intermittent driver timeout or crash may be observed while playing Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine on some AMD graphics products such as the AMD Ryzen AI 9 Ajax 370 which is one of the um, one of the APUs that we have recently in terms of AI which features a Radeon 890M and that same Radeon 9 890M well can't really play Space Marine 2 very well so I assume this isn't an issue at all. 
Intermittent stutter may be observed while playing Marvel Rivals when AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 frame generation is enabled. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to disable AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 frame generation in the per game settings as a temporary workaround. Well, this is a temporary workaround and Marvel Rivals is one of the most played games right now and it is kind of a bummer that AMD has been doing this temporary workaround of if frame generation is giving you stutters, don't use frame generation, even though that this has been like this for like three or four driver versions, and that's actually a bummer. And I really hope they fix this with the 25.3.1 drivers, because this is really, really bad for AMD, especially since so many people play Marvel Rivals. After using the AMD Cleanup Utility for Windows, the AMD Bug Report tool may appear intermittently during a new driver install on AMD Ryzen 7000 and above series processors paired with AMD graphics products. So again, this is a very specific issue with the AMD Cleanup Utility and then when you have a Ryzen 7000 with an AMD GPU, uh, this might or might not happen but it is here in the known issues so I believe that it is still happening to some degree. But yeah. And the last known issue is AGVC encoding may not work as expected while using OBS Studio with Twitch enhanced broadcasting. And again, um, AGVC encoding is what it is, it is much better generally than AVC which is the H.264, AGVC is H.265 and we actually have AV1 now but from what people told me I believe that AV1 broadcasting for Twitch is still kind of in a beta and for some people it works, for some people it doesn't work, but I, I mean, Twitch, just up your game, really, because AVC, low bitrate, low resolution, YouTube is like, pff, miles ahead, but I guess, again, it is what it is, I guess we can't do much there. Now, as for the things that I found with these drivers, and again, in terms of black screens, blue screens, I had none. Um, I had some issues with the previous drivers, for example, when starting the computer with certain graphics cards, I had kind of a green screen for the first time that I entered Windows, then I had to, a gray screen, not a green screen, a gray screen, I had to, I had to restart the computer and then boot up again and then everything was fine. And I mean literally everything, but I did have that, that issue on a cold boot, I don't really know why, and with these drivers so far, I did not have that issue. So. Maybe that issue is fixed, I don't really know because I didn't test enough time, but maybe it is fixed. Let me know in the comment section if you were having this issue with previous drivers such as the 24.12.1. Let me know if the 25.2.1 actually fixed it, like I believe it did on my systems. Also, I can tell you that we have better performance in, in Spider-Man 2 compared to the latest WHQL driver, the 24.12.1, but I believe that performance was also increased with the 25.1.1, so these drivers don't really bring much, and we have absolutely no changes in Kingdom Come Deliverance. It happens that in some drivers, even though that a certain game isn't supported, there are improvements made um, for that same game. And in this case scenario, there aren't any. I tested with the 24.12.1 drivers, I tested with the 25.2.1 in three different graphics cards and it's still the same. The performance is exactly the same and I believe that AMD needs to support Kingdom Come Deliverance ASAP because it is again a very played game, uh, lots of people play it, it is a very nice game. Um, and they need to support it, really. I believe that it, they will, of course, with the 25.3.1, but it should come earlier. But I, again, they are working on the RDNA 4 drivers and FSR4 and so on, so it, it's, it's quite understandable. Com well, talking about the market share that they have and so on, I guess. But I mean, they are such a big company that they should be able to do this. It's, well... Also, as for Delta Force, I tested Delta Force because the game was having lots of stutters and I tested it on the RX 7600 and one thing that I noticed is that those stutters were mostly when I was changing areas, so it feels, it kind of feels like that those stutters that you guys talk about all the time uh, and I was using a very, a very old, a very old processor, so the 12600K is not, it is not that it is slow, but it isn't fast either and, and the same goes for the 7600 that has low bandwidth and low VRAM, 8 gigabytes only. And those stutters were only happening in parts when I was loading new parts of the map. So basically going further into the map. So it kind of feels like a, a stutter, um, a stutter 
from the shader cache, something like that. I can't really explain because it is strange at the same time, but with the 7900 XTX, that didn't really happen that much. Uh, while with the 7600, it happened more because I believe maybe due to the low amount of bandwidth and VRAM, the XTX is a much more powerful card with way more bandwidth, way more VRAM, so that issue might not, might not appear. So basically, Delta Force stutters are still happening. They happen mostly on the lower tier cards, I believe, or with lower tier CPUs, I believe. Again, I didn't test that much further in order to know what every system does or reacts or so on. We have absolutely no changes for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, better FPS in Spider-Man 2, and we have people reporting that we do have lower FPS with some cards in some titles, like the newer Final Fantasy, I believe. But yeah, apart from that, everything stays the same, because again, these drivers are kind of a crutch for the next ones that will bring lots of new things. So, yeah, again. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the drivers, if they're better than the 25.1.1, if they're worse. And again, if you don't see these drivers on your system, simply go to Google, search for AMD 25.2.1, and those drivers will appear to you. Then download the drivers, do the usual DDU stuff, install the new ones, and so on. It's kind of easy, it takes five minutes, and you're good to go. So again, leave your comment in the comment section telling us your experience with these drivers and see you in the next video, I guess. Share your experience once again because that's very important. And believe me, AMD reads the comment section, so share the most you can because they will read it. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Cheers. back up so we're gonna create our own network that's a big job how long have you been planning this well dreaming about it since seventh grade but planning uh for the last two minutes or so dreaming about it since seventh grade, but planning, uh, for the last two minutes or so.